Hey YouTube, it's RuTube here. I'm uh, gonna make some chicken salad today, and I'm going to use one of the cast iron pots I got in the um, Cook's Essentials AP set. The I call it a Dutch oven. I'm not sure what everybody else calls it. And nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do? I'm not even, I'm not seasoning my chicken because it's gonna be seasoned once. I put it together. But I'm going to cook my chicken in here, let it cool down a little bit, and then tear it off and season it. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to turn this on, like medium, and I'll put a little olive oil in here. And then I'll be right back as soon as this heats up. Alright, now you might be wondering why I'm using this big thing for chicken for chicken salad. Well, I figured it this way. These leg quarters, there's three of them. And they are pretty good sized. So, to be honest, I didn't... No. Well, I guess that wasn't heated up as good as I thought it was. But, uh... Turn that up a little bit. Uh, there wasn't really room for me to get them a little crisp, you know, and stack them all together and cook them through. Um... None of the fry pans could hold all three of them. So I decided I'd just do it in this instead and let you guys see. And you don't have to do this in order to make chicken salad. You can use leftover chi any leftover chicken you have. Uh, rotisserie, uh, chicken you make some other way, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't even have to be just chicken. It's good with turkey too. So all we're going to do is let this brown up a little bit so... Yeah, I mean, we're not going to use a skin or anything, but I don't want the meat to taste like it's waterlogged. So I'm just going to get it a little crisp on both sides, take it out, and I'm going to do the other two. And I'm going to put everything back in there, turn it down, and put a lid on and let it cook. Now, if there isn't a whole lot of juice in there, I am going to add a little bit of water. Maybe even some lemon juice. So we're going to see how well this thing does with three big old pieces of chicken. So, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Alright, this has got a nice little brown on it, so I'm going to flip it. See that? Beautiful. I'll just give it a couple minutes on that side. I'm not going to cook them all the way through at first, but it doesn't really matter at this point. And then, I'm going to do my other two. That way you don't have to sit and watch me fry these chicken. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Alright boys and girls, I'm back. Excuse me, I lightly gave them all a little browning. And now I'm just going to say, I turned this all the way down to nothing. And I'm just going to take these three and put them in there. And then whatever's in that plate, I'm going back in there too. And I'm now I'm going to take the lid and throw it on there. And then I'm just going to keep checking it. Uh, and if it starts to a burn or b dry out before it actually hits 175 or whatever, it's 165, 175. Um, I'm going to put a little chicken stock in there, but not a lot, just because I don't want it to really steam or, or boil, I more want it to roast almost with its own juices and such. So I'll be back in a little bit and I'll go on a little farther. Alright boys and girls, I'm back. This has been cooking for a while. I did lose track of time because I was watching TV and then I was messing with the fish tank. Um, I didn't add any water to this. I did check a little while ago and it was still a ways off. Right. And I checked the thing and it was one this is 160 to 165. I thought it was 170-175. I was wrong. No big deal. Okay. That's done. So I'm gonna shut that off. And I'm gonna leave the lid off and just let it cool down just like that. And when this cools down, I'm gonna take the skin off it, shred up the meat and season it. 
and even though there's no seasoning in there, it smells good. This pan did do a really good job. As long as it's not all crap on the bottom and cruddy, it's a good one. So we'll be back in a little while. Alright, back. This is the last step. I didn't show you how to you know, break your chicken up, but that shouldn't be too complicated. And actually, look how nice and moist that came out. This did cook really well. So first thing I'm gonna do, you know it's nice and moist, I'm gonna whoop, put some salt on it. Now this is all a preference. You don't want to put any salt on it. Don't remember we didn't we didn't season it ahead of time for this reason. Then I'm going to toss a little white pepper in there. onion powder and garlic <laughs> boy that stinks actually I'm going to give it a quick mix real fast then put the mayonnaise in I saved the broth from the chicken but I decided I think I'm, I'm not going to use it because there's I was going to cool it down and take the fat off it and use it but I don't think there was really enough to say so and now I'm gonna put some mayonnaise in here I'm gonna start slow so it doesn't get too much mayonnaise in it because too much mayonnaise is disgusting and we just mix it up really good yeah, definitely gonna need more mayonnaise and remember you can break up the chicken pieces however you want and like most people like to put I don't know, walnuts, apples, raisins, grapes, etc., etc. in there. Now, if you like it like that, go right ahead. You're the one eating it. It's, it's however you like to do it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Get that nice and mixed. Then. I'm going to take just a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and that's it. There we go. Now, I am going to stop for one second, wash the crap off my hands, give this a taste, and I'll be right back. All right. Taste tester approved. So I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit more because I did do it, mix it up when it was still warm so it would help absorb it. Then I'm going to throw it in the fridge overnight and we'll use it tomorrow. Now, like I said, do this any way you want. This is your, you eat it, do whatever you want. Any kind of seasoning, any kind of spices. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos, join the Roo Crew, hit that subscribe button. Everybody, take it easy. Have fun.